Hi, I'm going to show you how to log in to the TetraLeaf remote desktop environment using ThinLink. And for that we go to the documentation of TetraLeaf. So I went to the NSC website, to the systems, and then I click on TetraLeaf. And there I expect to find a link to documentation to get started, and indeed it's here. From there I'm now looking to like how do I get started? I guess this is this is the instruction getting started. That sounds like a good place to go to. And now I'm going to look for the word thin link. There we have it. So this is about running graphical applications in general. This is not just thin link, like SSH is something else. Uh, but here we find uh, how to use thin link more or less, why you would want to use it, installing it, so I have it installed already, and then we need to find the, p the, the thing to log into, yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna start my local ThinLink client, oh, ThinLink, and I'm gonna change this to what is there, my username is xrigby, my password there and then I just uh, guess connect and continue I need to give a two-factor authentication number um, I have that on my phone I had to, I had to set that up 601 there and yeah it seems like I am on Tetralit now so with that I conclude this video on how to connect to a Tetralit using a local ThinLink client, so no website. Um, actually if you want to interested in using a website, for example some, some centers have that, um, they are indeed resource intensive and they're not uh, used, uh, or not, su not supported or maybe somewhere supported if you ask for it in this center. Alright, again, I've showed you how to use ThinLink, a local ThinLink client, to see the remote desktop environment of Tetralit. I wish you a very good day. Bye.